Last week in one of my webinars, I had a question about whether I should use classes or materials in my wall styles. I've got two wall styles here. This wall style here uses classes to control the graphic style. So when we zoom in, we'll find these classes for the baseboard, for the cavity, for the cladding, for the frame, for the lining, and I've got one here for structure. So I'll put that one in structure. So these classes control the graphic style of the object. So if I change the cladding, for example, and I edit the class of this, and let's make it red just for the heck of it, you can see it turns red. Now this is a huge advantage because in my drawings, I can use class overrides and viewports to control this much more accurately. So let's put that back the way that was. That was solid white. And there it changes. Now on this particular wall, I'm using materials to control the graphic style of the walls. Now because I'm using materials, I don't get the same control over those objects, except for the frame in the middle, which I've decided to use classes to control the graphic style. Let me show you why. This is my viewport. And here on my viewport, you can see I've got a specific color. If I select this viewport here, let's look at our classes. Let's turn off non-structure and just preview it. And you'll see that I've lost all my non-structural components. So I can turn off my lining, my cladding, my cavity, all except the baseboard, which is separate. Um, but I can turn off all of those parts with one click. So that's a really efficient way to do it. Whereas this wall style down the bottom here, I need to turn off the lining. I need to turn off the cavity. And I need to turn off the cladding as well. So I have to remember to turn off all of these different parts to get the same effect that I've got here just by turning off the one thing. So the only thing that's really important is that this wall component in the middle, my structural wall component, that needs to be controlled by the class. I can't use a material on that. Because if I do use a material on that, I can't go back here and make changes to my wall structure. So let's make this very thin, for example. Let's change this to a much darker color. Preview it. And you can see they both updated at the same time. So I do use class to control the graphic style of this one, but not my non-structure, which I just use the class to control all of that stuff. So that's the reason I use the structure here, the class to control the middle part of my frame, because that's the part I'm most likely going to change. So just to review what we've learned today, you can use materials to control the graphic style of your walls if you want, and it also controls the three-dimensional nature of your walls. So when we look at these walls in 3D, there we are there. You can see I've got very similar graphic styles to these. The lining's the same. The baseboard is the same. The exterior cladding is almost the same. I used a slightly different one. And I've got a cavity in this one. You can see there's a cavity right through there. So in a lot of ways, the 3D presentation is the same whether I'm using classes to control the graphic style or using materials to control the graphic style. The huge difference comes when I go to create my drawings and I want to control the graphic style in my viewports. That's when I must use classes to control the graphic style of those components. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this movie. If you really liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps other people to find me. And if you haven't already subscribed, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell so you get notified every time I upload a movie. Now I'm going to make a more detailed movie of this to show exactly what I mean by using classes or materials in the wall style. And that's available only to my members. So if you're not already a member, I advise you to become a member so you can get to the longer movies and really learn how to become a power user in Vectorworks. Thanks for watching.